Hi, this is Robert at XI Computer. Today we're going to look at our XI M Tower 2P64. It's an Opteron based uh, uh, workstation um, and it's based on the new Magni Core's uh, Opteron 6000 series. Let's take a look at the details of this system. Uh, the case of choice is the Cooler Master HAF932. It's a full tower case with ample ventilation. Each uh, base, unused base is gridded, uh, gridded on the side two big uh, front and side fan and also on the top and the back to keep the unit uh, cool. Um, AMD did a very uh, very uh, good job here of uh, with this Magni core, uh, literally big cores. That means uh, inside uh, of the, each of the two CPUs there are 12 of those cores with uh, a generous amount of cache. Let's take a look at the CPU Z panel and so we see two opterons, uh, those are the um, 6172 at 2.1 GHz and uh, they are 45 nanometer technology and uh, each of the, of, of the cores have a 64 level 1 for data and 64 level 1 uh, for um, instruction cache and so there are 12 of those there are also uh, 12, uh, 512, a level 2 cache uh, in 60 way associative, so 16 pages. And then there's a combined level 3 cache of 12 megabyte uh, uh, at 96 pages of 128K. Mm -hmm. It's 12 megabytes, the program here has a little glitch. Now, this for each processor, we have two processors, each one with 12 cores and 12 threads. Um, as we can see down on Windows 7 Task Manager panel, we can see the total of 24 CPUs, of which right now we just use 3% of one. And uh, we cited those CPUs with uh, two banks of 32 gigabyte DDR3 registered ECC uh, RAM for a total of 64 gigabyte of RAM. Okay, we open the case and now we're gonna look inside and see how we configure this system. First thing that comes to our eyes are the uh, new shape of the, of the heat sinks, they are rectangular. This is the new socket G34 for the Opteron uh, to accommodate uh, the um, larger the size of the die. Uh, the, we departed from a square uh, socket to a rectangular socket. On the side of those we have two memory coolers from Corsair, each one cooling 32 gigabyte of DDR3 register ECC memory for a total of 64 gigabytes. Uh, the video card of choice is an NVIDIA Quadro FX 4800 um, with 1.5 um, gigabyte DDR3 memory. It's a dual ad card driving two high resolution monitors. And this card is certified for major CAD and as well video editing application on the market. The motherboard of choice is a Tayan S8230 GM4NR and 4 stands for 4 uh, gigabit uh, network interface. This is a server board that of course um, does an excellent job also as a workstation board in this case. And um, um, there's a, a high bandwidth of communicating with the outer world uh, via those 4 gigabit network is required. Um, we have um, the new SAIG RAID controller SATA 3 um, is an add-on controller because the motherboard only supports the traditional SATA 2 interface at 3 gigabit per second. The new SATA 3 standard has a 6 gigabit per second double the speed and we are using two uh, Velociraptor 600 gigabyte 10,000 RPM Western Digital uh, drives that are SATA 6, uh, SATA 6 gig interface. The total capacity is 1.2 terabyte on RAID 0. Uh, high bandwidth for video editing uh, and very high speed response time of those drives. Um, power supply is a co uh, Cooler Master uh, 1250 watt power supply. Um, There's ample uh, power <coughs> for expansion if needed for more drives and eventually a little bit more RAM. Uh, this is uh, about it for this unit. Uh, for more information you guys can visit our website xicomputer.com. Thank you very much.